What would you say to the producer who has maybe like a three years in that understands music now but is now moving on to the level of finding their own sound? Like how you guys have. So if you keep going, you got nothing to lose, you can only get better. You know? like, you know, that's how I was at least. I started off with not knowing anything about music. Just picked up a computer and a little keyboard. Just learned how to work it and then I think for me it's definitely about kind of putting yourself in uncomfortable situations or maybe um, just being able to break out of your comfort zone. Um, because especially as you know, we, we run our own studio, so when people come in, they have a certain expectation or are trying to work on something that's very specific. So for us, that's kind of inspiration to you know, allow ourselves out of our comfort zones to try to accommodate what that expectation is and try to set up the best possible song or sample for that particular artist. Um, and so that kind of keeps us on our toes and keeps us learning and growing as you know individual artists so it's always something that we appreciate For me personally, I think I bounce off a lot off of Afro um, because we kind of, although we still appreciate and learn and listen to the same types of music or genres of music, he still kind of has stuff that he's into at any given time and then I have stuff that I'm into at any given time. So I can kind of show him some stuff and he shows me some stuff that's kind of off kilter or maybe something that I'm not tapped into at the time. And so once we actually meet up, it's easier for us to kind of bounce ideas off of each other and then from there we're able to kind of create something that's new, fresh, um, or if we're working on something specific for a client, um, it kind of gives us that, that extra push to be able to create something that's you know, appropriate for what that client wants or what that particular artist is looking for. So. First thing that comes, and then slowly we just add the bounce to it, and then that's pretty much it. Foundation, that's not the foundation. Nothing too crazy, something you know that's gonna work that you can add layers to. Mm -hmm. Don't like, don't overthink shit. For sure, don't overthink shit, because then you're just gonna end up with a bunch of shit. I'm not gonna know what to do with it. You right. know what I mean? Still, hopefully still running a company, a business, a production company, doing other shit, you know? But 
I grew up playing baseball. Like that was my life until I was like 16. But then, like, drugs and alcohol and girls and bad grades. But shit, probably just be normal Joe. I guess I don't know. I'm a psychology major, so and I'm still going to school at the moment. Yeah, my so. best one. Uh, I, I'll stick to that, you know, yeah. music doesn't really pan out the way that I wanted to, but... Yeah, he has a plan B, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you wouldn't want to get a placement with. Wouldn't? Yeah. Wouldn't? Yeah, you don't want to Six, a placement nine? with this person. In the city. Oh, in the city? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Fucking... All these fucking fake-ass fools that be buying sh fake streams, be capping. Stop chasing, you know who you are, I ain't gotta say names.